across all the stuffs that I wanted to. Yes. Yo! That was messed up, that crocodile. Drug called Crocodile. Okay, fine. I need to change my graphic settings. No, no, no. Why? They too high? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're too high for your alien no. computer. <laughs> it's it's not that. It's whoa, wait. Maybe if I do a higher resolution, it'll work. What? Would that be a good idea? I don't know. Hmm. I'm not a computer nerd, dude. I'm gonna do it, the Duncan. Games that the one the guys make, you know. Texture. Ah, that's right. That's right. What? The texture quality. And I need to change this mouse sensitivity. Hi. Yeah. There we go. A little bit. Um. What? Turn the TV on. Hmm. Explain why I'm asking you to do this, yeah. Damn it, fuck. So, what do you want to do other than this? Because uh, the game's way too fucking scary for me, man. It's too scary for me, too, but I started this, so I have to finish it. <laughs> Dude, this game, like, literally makes me want to rage. I turned up Max Gamma. The people can't see it, but I can. Now, I forgot what I was doing. I was okay. So I was going freaking nuts. Okay, good. I was going down here. How do I go to my journal? You're gonna die. That's what you're gonna do. And uh, what? your screen brighter because I'm like a little faggot <laughs> and then and then I turned on the camera <laughs> okay, I'm scared because if I open one of these doors I'm scared that that creature is just gonna be right there like trolling do it okay cool <laughs> I didn't want that door to open Whenever you see the monster, you have to hide. You can't fight it. 
Okay, this is new. You can't have a light on, right? No. And you can't look at the monster. Yeah, this is making it kind of stupid. What, you, what happens if you look at the monster? You go more insane, you make a scared noise, and then the creature will see you. What was that? into this room, the creature was just right down this hall. Dust kicked up and overall horrible noises that I don't want to hear again. Twenty fifth of June, eighteen thirty nine. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. 
Okay, I don't want to go through that door, Doug. Okay. Dude, I don't think I'll be able to get behind that barrel in time if something goes... Okay, oh cool. supposed to be doing in here. This is supposed to be connected to the inner sanctum somehow, where I'm supposed to go. Uh, but I don't... Okay. That door that's... Wait, 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 wait. Look, there's a light. Ah! Look. There's a hole. There's a hole in it. And... <laughs> Sadly, I can't throw anything in. Okay. This is my hidey hidey spot. So the monster will do good. He is an average size. 